Thanks for clicking on the video here today. Let's get started on our next lesson, the New Testament church. Well, the church is a building, right? No, that's not what the church is, and we'll learn that here today. The Bible explains how Jesus Christ established the church. The New Testament speaks of the church in four different parts. The four parts, one part is the Gospels, which is the foundation for the church. It gives us the foundation. Acts is the growth of the church. The epistles is guidance for the church, and Revelation is the future of the church. We ought to know why the church matters to God and how the church can help us live for him. We should know these things as a Christian. I hope if you're watching today, you've already accepted Jesus Christ as, a, as your Savior. If you, ha if you have not, you can still. It's not too late if you're watching this video. But if you already have, now we need to know why the church matters so much to God. Well, a local church is a body of believers called by God to serve in a specific area. The church is the body of Christ. The church is a group of believers who gather together on a regular basis. In the book of Acts, in chapter 2, and verse 46 through 47, the Bible says, And they, continually, continuing daily with one accord in the temple, and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily as should as such as should be saved. So the church should be a happy place. The church should be a, filled with a group of people who continuously meet on a specific time through the week and they come together and will they love one another? They have good favor with one another. They enjoy each other's presence. Why? Because they might be from different parts of life and different walks of life, but they all know they've accepted Jesus Christ as their Savior and that the mighty God is their God and that their home is in heaven one day and they need to be telling others and inviting others to come to church and what a merry place church should be church should be filled with happiness and joy why because it should be a place that reminds you of where we're going when we die because i'm getting to go to heaven when i die because i believe in jesus christ as my savior well when i come to church how does that help remind me of it well i hear the word of god preached i hear the word of god taught I hear stories of Jesus. I hear stories from other believers of maybe things God has done for them in their life. When you get together with other believers, it helps strengthen your faith and your walk with God. The church is not a building or a denomination. It is simply a group of people assembled together who have been saved by Jesus Christ and scripturally baptized. It's not a church if it's not a group of people who have been saved by Jesus Christ. The church is God's institution to provide support and structure for our faith. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 15, But if I tarry long, that thou mayest know how, to, how thou oughtest to behave thyself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of of the truth. That's another reason we should respect church. It's okay to have fun in church. It's okay to have a good time in church, but church should be a place that is respected. And, uh, the church, the, the people that come to the church, the church members should take care of the church. They should love the church. They should want to clean the church and make sure that the church looks the best that it can be. Why? Because it is the pillar and ground of the truth. Now, I understand the building is not the church. But you should still take care of the things God has given you. The church is the flock of God. It's the group of, of people. During the whole COVID-19, when the church buildings were closed, we still met in the parks. We still met in parking lots. We still got together. And even though we were not under uh, or inside of a building or under a roof, we were still our church. Why? Because it was a group of believers that came together to uh, learn about Jesus and to grow close to one another, to check up on one another, to care about one another. The church is the flock of God. God lovingly refers to us as sheep. Sheep are most healthy and productive in a flock with a shepherd. Well, the same goes for Christians who are most healthy and productive when they are in a local church with a caring pastor. If you have a caring pastor, he's going to try to guide you in the right way. He's not going to just try to dictate your life, but he's going to try to show you what the Bible says about life and how the Bible can help you through your life and how the Bible can help you grow. In the book of Acts in chapter 20, the Bible, Acts 20, 28, the Bible says, 
Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers to feed the church of God which he hath purchased with his own blood. He has purchased. He's purchased the church with his own blood. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers to feed the church of God which he hath purchased with his own blood. God is so good to us. He purchased us with his own blood. That's why the church is so important. We're going to pick up right there next week. But the church is important. It's not because of the building. It's because of the group of people who have come together. God has purchased them with his blood. What a great God we serve. And the Bible says wherever two or more are gathered, hey, he's going he's gonna to be with us. Wherever two or more believers are gathered, he's going to be there. God cares about you so much. Remember, it was his blood that purchased us. God is so good. God cares about the church. Thanks so much for clicking on the video here today. We'll see you next time.